Hi Workshop Addicts, I'm John. Have you ever had the need to paint a stripe on a wall? Uh, well that can be kind of difficult. Uh, so today I'm going to show you how to do it without having any of the paint bleed through the tape. Um, it's a simple process and you'll see when we get closer here the difference but basically you lay your stripe out with your with your tape and usually what happens is if you just tape it you'll have paint bleed underneath the tape and it won't give you a very crisp clean line. I'm going to show you how to take care of that. So as you can see we have two lines here. This line over here is where the bleed through happened. And this one's nice crisp and clean. So first off what I did is I just primed a piece of plywood. Plywood's got a lot of bumps in it and stuff like that so it really helps this happen. Uh, I live in a house that has plaster walls so if I try to do a stripe without this technique they'll all turn out like this all the time. So first off what you do is you lay out your stripe. Pretty simple. Put your tape down. And this will work for basically any pattern that you want to do. Um, you want to make diamonds on your wall, anything like that. This will work. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to divide this. And this half we are going to seal. Basically how we do that is we take some painter's caulk. This one's an old tube of painter's caulk so it's a little harder to work with. It's kind of like a play-doh but it'll work for anything. I mean if you got the brand new stuff it goes on real quick. It works really well. But what we're doing here is you're just going to take your painter's caulk and go over this seam and rub it in with your fingers. If it's fresh stuff, it'll go on real quick and come off real quick. It's just what you want. But what we're going to do is caulk this seam. It's painter's caulk. So that's what it's intended for anyway. It takes a paint. Once you have it there, then what you can do is wipe it all off. It'll just ball up and come right off, fresh or old. Let it dry if you want, but it'll ball right up. What this is doing is it's getting underneath the tape and it's sealing that void between all of the grains or like in your plaster wall, any of your imperfections. This fills in that gap. Since it's painter's cock, you can paint right over it and go about your business. All right, so that side's sealed, this side is not. Now what we're going to do is we are going to apply our paint. You can use a roller, paint brush, this works for anything. Like I said, this isn't anything I came up with. I read it in a magazine a few years ago and with some of the projects I've done, I've used it and it's just worked perfect. So, um, <clears throat> you probably know you don't want to leave the tape on too long. Um, we're going to let this sit for about 10 minutes or so and then we'll take it off and see what we got. If you leave tape on too long, this will start to dry and harden. And what it'll do is it'll attach itself to the, paint, the tape. So when you peel it off, you'll peel the, the paint off into the section you want it. So we're going to get this while it's still pretty wet. We're going to let it sit for 10 minutes and we'll come back. All right, it's approximately 10 minutes later. So we're going to pull off this tape and see what we got. See on this side already, you got some bleed through. Pretty crisp, clean line there. And we got bleed through on the other side. So, you can see every single time we do this, we are going to have bleed through. And if we do it correctly with the caulk, you're going to have nice, crisp, clean lines. So, there you have it. Hopefully, this helps you paint crisp, clean lines in the future. Um, I'm not much of a painter, I know a little bit, and this is probably about all I can give you as a tip. Except for I have one other one right now. If you're watching all the way through the video, this is something just a time saver. Let's say if you're going to paint a room, or if you're staining, or polyurethaning, any of that. You take your brush, instead of washing it every time, you can just take it and put it in cellophane, plastic wrap. Hold it up, roll it up, hold it in just seal it up like that 
they'll stay nice and wet for a while. Um, I've had uh, polyurethane ones good for a day or so, day and a half. That way you can put multiple coats on without having to clean it. So that's your extra bonus painting tip. So until next time, I'm John from WorkshopAddict.com. Talk to you later.